What's up everybody in YouTube land? So I'm part of this group on, I am, we are on YouTube. Nope. Facebook. Fluid Art Community with Susanna Danks, Donks. I don't know. I'm probably saying that hella wrong, but you know what I mean. So in this group, we have a challenge that's to use these colors plus one color of your choice. Um, to make some artwork and so that's what we're about to do this is our palette dun, 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 dun. we're using all spray paints because spray paint seems to work best in this resin we're using please hold we're using this countertop epoxy it's good stuff but it's not necessary for artwork because i mean its properties are such that you can get it up to 500 degrees fahrenheit to 60 celsius it's scratch resistant it's amazing stuff but it doesn't like to work with something um heavy body acrylics it turns into marshmallow fluff so it's best with inks a little bit of like pigment powder or micas or a spray spray paint spray paint Is that enough? Yeah. Give me those small, I need the small things. I don't know. Sticks? Well, the sticks. I'm scared about using a pan. Like, I don't want to use a lot of it in this. Because everything we use tan in, it looks horrible. Do we want to use this? close to that. I know. Um, yeah, look, which one do you want to take out? Oh, I see. Take that. Take that out. I guess. Use that one. What is it? Oh, you're use that one? It's super dark? Sugar, this? that. Is that that? Oh, that's. that's Let's this. use that. Okay. I really like how that turns out. Posters. That's the same color. That's the dark that you just asked me to pull. Oh, yeah, that's cool. This one's out. 
This one's in. Remember, you have gold. Yeah. I paid that as a lot. Especially since the cup is already. If you have leftovers, just put it on this one. So um, we put a clear layer down first because it helps resin to glide over the surface more easily. It'll stick to where it hasn't been. I, don't, I can't remember how I usually say that. Refer to other just, videos. It just, it just helps it. It just really helps it. Uh, Move over the surface over. more easily. Yeah. So in terms of color palette, we spray painted this black. It used to be another pour, but it had nothing to do with these colors, so we just started over. The darkest shade is from Sugar. It's a spray paint. All of these are spray paint. It's in the shade Giggles. <laughs> the next darkest shade is by Rustelium. It's a gloss in the color Deep Turquoise. The next one is by Rustelium. It's a gloss in the shade something Seaside. It's this color. The next one is a purple from Montana Black in the shade something Power Violet with two T's because that makes a difference. I hate using tan, but it's part of the palette. We have a lot of it. Um, it's by Montana Black in the shade Beige. Beige. Isn't that exciting color? And then last, but very not least, is Rustolium Metallic Gold. When you use spray paint, don't use it around a flame like that one. Spray it in an open area that's well ventilated. Wear a respirator and don't spray it into an open flame because flamery is bad with spray paint. Flamery. That's an e-science word. Don't judge it. So that's the palette. And this is so off. You didn't balance it. Oh well. This is the challenge, plus one color, so we chose purple because it's my favorite color, and it goes good with these other colors. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a puddle. I'm sure there's stuff I'm supposed to be saying that I'm leaving out, but it's whatever. Puddles, puddles, puddles. Everywhere with the puddles. Look how it's like already dripping over here. Mm -hmm. The importance of leveling. It's true. I think you should like pour it and twist and turn it over this one. Weddy nice, weddy, weddy nice. I 
look at it. It's just like lines. It's just like. So he didn't blow it and see. What? We knew that? Mm hmm. Where? Didn't you put the golden? I did. It's like gone. Look at this selling. <laughs> Spray paint, man. There's some port on that. I didn't know if you were going to need it on this. I don't know what you're going to do with it. I don't know, that's why I'm like holding on to it. Where's that gold powder at? Those cells are just bananas. Bananas, bananas, <laughs> well, I wanted to give it a base to roll over. I just smeared it all. Oh my god! It's blowing onto this, so it's like doing some amazing. This is where it's going to be badass when it starts to sell out and it's, and it's cold. Mm -hmm. No more I'm like just barely blowing on this. Look at that. God. Crazy looking. That that tan just like disappeared like completely. <clears throat> I'd rather the tan disappear than be too evident because it's just, you know, tan.
Are you going to pull some heat? That tan is just hideous. Mm -hmm. This one definitely looks better on course. <laughs> Crazy man, it's crazy. I don't know what to do, like, because if I set this down on the floor, it's gonna fall off and off. Put some cups under it. Secret to great art. If you don't like an area, just tilt it and let it pour off. This is what it looks like. Let's do something with leftover resin. That sea blue, the white one, looks good. 